okay, I want to try something new here. I want to just sort of rant about something for a minute. And something that's been bothering me for a while is the bloating cost, time to develop, and expectations of AAA games. So, all right, folks, here we go. Let's take a plunge into this pixelated toilet bowl that is modern game development. Picture this. The industry, in all of its wisdom, decides game creation should be as straightforward as assembling a spaceship with a toothpick and a rubber band. Well, spoiler alert, it's not as successful as you'd imagine. The good old days are long past, when games sprouted from basements, not from mega studios that give NASA a run for its money. Nowadays, launching a game feels more akin to a moon landing than an entertainment release. Each new console cycle whips developers into a frenzy and they start shouting things like, More power! Let's individually render each blade of grass, leading to projects so bloated that you think they aim to digitize the entire universe one freaking atom at a time. Gaming pantheon has its deities, the AAA games, your Call of Duties, your Final Fantasies, your GTAs, which amass fortunes large enough to rescue small economies or maybe even fuel my relentless Red Bull addiction. But here's the million dollar question, or maybe a billion dollar question. Does every new title need to shoot for the moon, only to nosedive into financial oblivion? Maybe, just maybe. We don't need to count the pores in the nose of the villain in Call of Duty 35 Super Modern Battlefield Mega Boom. Picture this. What if a titan like Square Enix went rogue and carved its behemoth development teams into agile squads? They'd craft games that won't necessarily cause the retina to melt down at 8K textures, but instead win hearts with gameplay and narrative. <laughs> That's freaking crazy, right? Cast your mind back to Final Fantasy IX. That thing ran on a PlayStation 1, but people still love it. Sometimes modern game development feels like it's using a chainsaw for a circumcision. A little bit of overkill. Sure, you could pour years and a Scrooge McDuck vault of cash into making such a character's hair flutter in just the right way in the breeze. Or maybe we could, I don't know, focus on crafting a game that doesn't grant players with gargantuan day one patches. A mid-tier game that has visuals on par with Final Fantasy XIII on today's hardware? You know, I wouldn't puke at the sight of it. Perhaps it's time that we shifted focus from pixel perfection to perfecting the wit, story, and dare I say, fun? Here's all I'm asking for. Let's ease up a little bit on the gigaflops and terapixel obsession with the ray tracing and the hee bop and the whip nails, and just remember what makes games truly memorable creativity, storytelling, and some fun. When you don't have to auction off your disappointing first horn in order to cover development costs. The future could be brimming with titles delightful to play as they are rational to create. So Square, go ahead and make your Final Fantasy 16. It's got a place in the world. But put a little more effort into developing the smaller titles. The world will thank you for it. And so will your wallet. There, there you have it my opinion. I tried to inject a little bit of humor into this, but I think my message is a serious one. If anybody takes any advice from this cocaine-fueled ramble, let it be this one thing. Calm the f*** down with your ambitions. It'll be fine.